this is Mascola checking in for another big time installment of the Mascola Money Podcast, where you have come to enjoy the lists that are both controversial and varied on a great basis because we like to switch it up here. Just a quick note before we get into that, that was Avicii in the opening song. As a DJ, I played a lot of his music in college and just in general, really big contributor to the music world, so sad to hear of his passing. But getting back into our list now, we have a big time list that hits close to home today, literally. If you are from the Rockland area, this one will be very relevant to you. So with that said, let's not wait anymore. Here they are, your power rankings for the week. Mascola Money Podcast Top 5 Power Rankings of the Week It's time! So, for our list this week, we have Top 5 Places to Go in Rockland County Now, before we get into the list, just a few notes about this It can't be any places that are exclusive to either private membership or restrictive to certain age groups, or you have to be a certain age to go there. It also has to be completely within the boundaries of Rockland County, as far as the places we're talking about. So with that said, five. So here we go. Number five, Palisades Credit Union Park in Pomona. Now this is obviously home to the Rockland Boulders, which some of you may know, but some cool things about this park is that it's really a nice stadium. If you've ever walked around, it really rivals any minor league stadium you will ever go to especially for double A or less. The team is actually an independent league team, so it would be cooler probably if they were linked to a real major league team. But nonetheless, it's a cool place to go watch a game. You can bring the family. There's a lot of activities and different sorts of food and vendors around. So from that standpoint, it's cool. Another thing that they've been doing a lot better in the last few years, they have a lot more concerts, uh, especially country concerts and things of that nature. I'd say they're at like a B level of performer. Hopefully they bring in some bigger performers in the future. Of course, some of you may not be baseball fans, and also baseball and concerts at that place, being an outdoor stadium, it's a summer type thing, so we'll keep it at five. Number four on the list is really any waterfront restaurant in Havistraw, in Nyack, in Piermont, really anywhere on the Hudson River. These are awesome places to hang out when it's nice weather out, although, I mean, the weather lately has kind of shown that we're going through global warming or that we are never going to have nice weather again. It's slowly starting to become spring as we move closer to summer. These are great places to be to enjoy food, friends, family, but just to enjoy the atmosphere. It's one of the cool things about Rockland is that we're right on the water there. You can see the bridge. You can see the Westchester side. Some places you can see a little bit of the skyline of the city. Definitely check these places out. I went to Piermont not actually too long ago for my dad's birthday. We went to Pier 701 was awesome. I'm a big fan of a place called the Hudson River Water Club, I think it's called. It's in Havistraw. Definitely check that out. So those are things you should do if you haven't, especially because they're close to home. Number three is the shops at Nanuet in Nanuet. Now, this is something that replaced the old Nanuet Mall. It was definitely a major upgrade from what was happening at the mall. And this is a cool place for people to hang out again when it's nice weather sort of has a Woodbury Commons type of feel, but a lot smaller. There's all different types of stores and restaurants and places to go. There's a very sizable, good movie theater there. There's a gym. There's 24-hour fitness, I think it is. There's an Apple store if you're recording podcasts like me on Apple products like I am right now. But there's really all sorts of stuff there. It's a nice place to walk around. Um, also, a big fan of Zinn Burger. That's there. P.F. Chang's. BJ's. There's there's a lot of solid spots there. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't been around. Also, it's a nice place to hang out with friends or family also. You can walk around and enjoy the weather or whatever else you're, is, you're trying to accomplish that day. Two. Number two is a very unique place to our county. It's Bear Mountain State Park. Doesn't have a specific city. I guess you would say its closest town would be Stony Point, but it's in northern Rockland. This is an awesome place once again. You think about all the different things you can do here. It's a very diverse trip you can make. It can be a trip to go biking. 
It can be a trip to go hiking. It can be a trip to do, um, you know, just a picnic. It could be a trip you make in the winter to go skiing or sledding or snowboarding down the hills. There are some restaurants and cool towers to check out. I actually know that the middle schoolers, usually the hockey team, they play a game there outside, which is kind of a nice event. But Bear Mountain is really one of the scenic places of our area. It's called Rockland for a reason. It has some nice mountains to check out. So really enjoy the scenery of Rockland. People actually come here from far away to check out this park. It's pretty vast for, you know, the size of it not being the hugest overall, you know, amount of acres, but definitely, definitely something to check out from time to time. Don't take for granted that we have such a cool park right in our backyard. And number one on the countdown this week, you might have been able to guess this since you haven't heard it yet. It is the Palisades Mall. Now, I think we hear a good amount of criticism of the Palisades Mall amongst people from Rockland for some of the annoyances of it. Yes, it's crowded. Yes, there's always going to be the same places attracting the same types of crowds who might annoy you. But, you know, there is something for everybody at that mall, I still believe. There's a food court. There are some nicer restaurants, especially that have been added over time. Even if things are changing, there are usually are going to be places you would want to go to eat there. There is a bowling alley. Don't forget about the Dave & Buster's, a place that both adults and kids like. Went there with my basketball team this year for a team night, another solid spot. They have um, all sorts of kiosks and things to buy stuff as you walk around. I even get my hair cut there. Then there's a movie theater there as well. There's an ice rink, right? We have teams playing hockey and people who ice skate there in the winter. This is a great place to go. It's actually one of the biggest malls in America. I think we forget about that sometimes. I think it's like the sixth or seventh biggest mall in the entire country. So people do travel to the Palisades Mall from far away. So don't take for granted that it's there because it's still a big time hangout place. It's a big time place to go for people catching up and people getting together on their weekends. But really, it's also a great place to bring in business and jobs for people in our county as well. So number one is the Palisades Mall. It might be annoying at times, but we can't deny that we still go there. And that just about wraps it up for this week's list. In closing, I think we all have our moments where we say Rockland is boring, Rockland is annoying. I wish I didn't live in Rockland. But if we really take a step back and look at where we could have grown up, I'm happy I don't live in Nebraska. Uh, I don't think I would be good as a farmer, and I don't think it's something that a lot of you would really enjoy doing. Instead of going to school, milking cows, maybe I'm... Uh, making this an antiquated thought here because I don't know how much that really happens over there. Anyway, we're getting off track. Just know that we're close to New York City. That's cool. We're close to Jersey beaches in the summer. That's cool. We're close to Woodbury Commons and a lot of stuff around us in general. So it's really not the worst place in the world to be. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Make sure you subscribe and check out all the other shows. A lot of shows released this week from a lot of great podcast hosts. So again, Suffer Middle School Podcast is the channel. Like and subscribe. Comment if you like the, the list, disagree with the list, whatever you want to do. All right. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you next time.